audio recording so much last week before I put it on YouTube, and I, I hit myself for a second. Audio recording? Yeah, are, you, are you recording us? Oh, yeah. As we speak right now, we're being recorded. Okay, okay. That's <laughs> cool. You, how long have you been doing this? I, I know, I know. Just a week. Okay, I, I'm kind of scared. Wow. Oh, it's okay. It's just the internet. All you right, know. all right. And he's trying to make us internet sensations, oh, I guess. Good. Gotta Jeez. do it. Gotta do it. People can a, listen to us on the web. If I'm gonna right. be, if I'm gonna be on this show, we gotta go viral. You know? Yeah, and uh, <laughs> I, I, I watch some of your YouTube uh, messages lately. You're, you're trying to call in all your Frankie fans, your Sugar <laughs> Sean fans. Yeah. Tell them, come on my show. Well, like, I didn't yeah. say my show. I said our he says, show. He says, <laughs> he says, he uh, says, forget about those two old has-beens. Right, come yeah, on yeah. to my show. <laughs> Glad you've been pretty good to me, so I mean, it's all good. You know? Well, okay. Well, I, I truly appreciate that. <laughs> I do too. You know, this is a big step for me. Did you know that the Kiss Army turned 35 on Sunday? Oh, I was wow. reading this. I, I was trying to find the most worthless information I could share with you. <laughs> yeah, it was back in November 21st, 1975. It marks the unofficial start date in Terre Haute, Indiana, where uh, Kiss played a sold-out show, and it was thanks to the efforts of fans Bill Starkey and pal Jay Evans. The pair began contacting local radio station W W V T. In an effort to get some Kiss music played, after being repeatedly turned down by program, program director Rich Dickerson, I'm sorry, fellas, we don't play the Kiss on our station. <laughs> <laughs> do, you, we, do you like KC in the sunshine, Rich? Man? <laughs> Rich Dickerson, I like. It looks good on my uh, stationery. <laughs> I'm, uh, you guys better not be. Is this is this Starkey and Evans again? Why not just call him Dick Dickerson? You know, Richard. <laughs> Oh, the, the FCC uh, loves you now. Starkey and Evans began calling WBTS, claiming to be the Kiss Army after getting shot down so many times. Well, they did mark the anniversary. Uh, the co-founder of the Kiss Army, uh, Bill Starkey, was uh, spending some Kiss tunes as guest DJ at 105.5 The River in Terre Haute here this past weekend. He sat in with River host Ed Zeppelin. Oh, how clever. Uh, <laughs> for a 35th anniversary what special. What band is he trying to rip off? Oh, there. I don't know. Uh, <laughs> Bob Perp Marley? Jethro Tull, actually. Uh, the, two, <laughs> the two were joined by several guests, including Mayor Duke Bennett, who declared Sunday as Kiss Army Day in Terre Haute. Paul Stanley called in the show to say, I just want to tell you that I love the Kiss Army. <laughs> yes, course. he called in, and he's talked about the 1975 experience, so kudos to Paul. So, yeah, there you go, man. Kiss Army turns 35. I was honorably discharged in 1988, uh, right uh, in 89, right around the time of Hot in the Shade, when they did that Michael Bolton Forever song. Oh, I was done. I handed in my badge and everything. I felt, I, I felt so sad. A wall from that army, huh? Yeah, I was. I went A wall till about 1996. You know, when they put the makeup on for a while, and then I kind of started deserting them again when they uh, put the replacements for Ace and Paul. Place of Peter, rather. Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah I, I, I mean, they're good and all. Tommy Thayer and Eric Singer, very good. But they're not Peter, Chris, and Ace Freely, man. But and I, that's just sacrilege to the Kiss Army. I, I have a question, though. What? Terry Holt, Indiana. Is that where Columbia House got started? <laughs> I, I think so. It's dead silence, though. I can't figure the it out. Columbia yeah. House. Yeah. Columbia House. He was someone know? that actually paid for his uh, CDs. Well, I can't, I can't, did I can't, you? I can't, I can't say that. I actually, I actually. You was paid a, him the whole penny. I actually was a. <laughs> I actually was a. I actually was kind of a bad boy at that. that at that point, you know, I never, never really paid for any of the CDs I bought. I, so speak, I'd too. use all my family members' names. I made you so know. many names. My dog. I made, yeah. so many <laughs> I made so many accounts on Columbia House, you have no idea. I tell you. Look. That's why my credit's bad. <laughs> yeah. Now you, you can't even buy a frozen yogurt with no, credit card. No. That's why I got a debit card, a Walmart debit card. It works perfectly. Who's this guy? Mr. Pander in promotion. <laughs> over Jeez. Peeling the plastic out. But, yes, I love the kiss as well. You know, I love the I love Rock the kiss. City. What are you, 40, you know, 75 years old? I love the kiss. In fact, Adam Rifkin is a friend of mine on Facebook. So Who's know. Adam Rifkin? He's a director of the movie Detroit Rock City. Oh. The guy who has that look show out on Showtime. <laughs> yeah. Why don't you bring him on the show? We're looking for oh, bookings. Oh, boy. You just say the word, it shall be healed. Dude. Yeah, I'm telling you right now, <laughs> go get this booked up, and uh, I don't want to turn into a, a two-hour love fest, though. Give ten, I'll give him ten minutes. Yeah, Sugar Sean, he's got the connections, yeah. man. Yeah, uh, I, I hear about his connections. <laughs> I thought I was cool because I met Rob Zombie a couple yeah. of times, but, you know. That, I thought it was cool because I met Frank, you know, Tracy Morgan. You know? Yeah, you know, she's... <laughs> I feel hey, I bad thought I was now. cool because I met Ned Beatty, but you know, hey, whatever. You know? Ned Beatty, <laughs> after his adult movie days or prior? 
crickets. You probably <laughs> confused that with Warren Beatty, probably. But anyway. All right, we're gonna get uh, yeah. take, a, take a quick break and come back with some New York oh, dolls. Oh yeah, the guy up there in Carlstead. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Now oh, you get it. Oh come on, man. That's <laughs> that that guy's on the B roll movie list, man. Yeah. I mean, he's geez, a le- he's a le- I've seen better acting from my stool. He, he's a legend of my heart. So. <laughs> Legend in your heart. Oh, this is good. this is a good episode. I love this. Oh, the experiment. We are and then, in the lab right now. And then Sean <laughs> gets all all weepy about Ned Beatty. Oh. Tell us more about your love for Ned Beatty. Well, it started in 2006. <laughs> <laughs> 2006. Now you had a chance to. Did you get a chance to interview him? Yeah, that was kind of the one thing that kind of got me started. Got him. The whole interview realm, kind of. Yeah. Besides your inspiration, of course. But, you know. Yeah. <laughs> well, well, how did it go? It was good. It was fun. We, I think we chatted for about 45 minutes, as far as I remember. You didn't arm wrestle, did you? He would have kicked my butt. Yeah. <laughs> I, I, I just know he might be an old guy who's in his 70s now, but I still think he could, you know, do some damage. Well, Sugar <laughs> Sean, what a warm. That's this is Sugar Sean's warm and fuzzy music. What's got, his most famous movie? Deliverance. I oh, believe, yeah, yeah. Yes, folks, yeah. We're going to do some squealing later. But I, no, thought, that's for I thought his most famous role was playing Dan Connor's dad on the Oh, that'd be, that'd be another one. That'd be another one. <laughs> <laughs> And of course, in, Superman, you can't forget about that. Every once in a while, we'll, we'll share a warm and fuzzy moment with you, with a radio listener, <laughs> from the warm and fuzzy file of Sugar Sean Slauson. <laughs> we go retro here. Yeah. That's why I love DDP. When, that when, baby's number one fan. <laughs> when you know Kenny Loggins is getting cranked up here. Oh, I feel like watching Caddyshack, though. This yeah, isn't exactly even from the Caddyshack soundtrack. I know, but oh, I knew yeah. he did the theme song for both one and two, so... All right, we're going to bail out of that <laughs> junk right away because he's getting, Sean's going on all kinds of different Yeah, I, I've been taking over your show. That's, that's not good for me to do that. No, you're you're the, you're you might as well bust out the Richard yeah. Marks, man. Yeah. Oh, we want to request for a hold on to the nights. <laughs> see, because this is the funny thing about this. Well, you didn't know, I don't know which videos you watched by on YouTube, but there's a few people who listened to last, last week's show. Who uh, the stream that I put up anyway? Yeah, and they thought you guys were being mean to me, and I had to defend you guys, and I had to say, no, this is just all part of the sketch of the show. They yeah. don't understand. Oh, no. Hey, we're gonna take a quick break. We got DDP coming up on the line next. Uh-huh. I started huffing half the stuff under the kitchen sink in junior high school. Eventually, I tried any drug I could get my hands on: coke, shrooms, meth. It was easier than dealing with my real life. After I got arrested, my aunt let me move in with them. But she said, Max, if you can't stay clean, you can't live here. And when I broke our deal, she helped me get into Teen Challenge. I knew I had a problem, but I didn't know how to get out of it. But this place helped me get free from my addiction. Sometimes, drugs look like the cool thing to do. Like everyone's having a good time. But when you're hooked, the party life stops, and the torment of the drug addiction takes over. It's not exactly cool when you're paranoid and hallucinating, severely depressed, or when you lose your family and friends because of drug abuse. If this is an issue you're dealing with, Minnesota Teen Challenge can help. Please give us a call at 612-FREEDOM or check us out on the web at mntc.org. You're listening to the radio right now, but have you ever thought about a career in radio? Beginning this fall, Northland College in Thief River Falls can help you make that happen. When you earn your diploma in radio business, you'll be ready for a career in today's radio, including the new media tools of webcasting and podcasting. You'll get real hands-on training on one of three HD radio stations at Northland Community and Technical College in Thief River Falls. For more information on the radio business program, contact us at northlandcollege.edu. Slash radio. 747 on the Tuesday Night Experiment, and we got a guest with us, our second phone guest of the hour. We had Dirty Dutch Mantel previously in the hour, but now we got the one and only Diamond Dallas Page, and he's here to talk about fitness, YRG fitness. And from the looks of uh, the Tuesday Night Experiment crew, <laughs> we may need some YRG fitness. Welcome to the show, DDP, chairman of the board of the Diamond Exchange and the creator of <laughs> YRG Fitness System. Good God, how are you tonight? Now, that's a hell of an intro. <laughs> I was just about ready to cut a promo. My first taste of DDP was back when you were uh, running the showboat uh, with the AWA with, with Pat Tanaka and Paul Diamond. Bad oh, company. Dude. You know, that all came from my club that I used to say, Norma Jean's Dance Club. That's where I came from. Oh, that was solid gold, man. You always had a diamond doll on your arm walking out proper and proud. Well, you know, it was. 